you, man, so much. Yes! Guys, what a crowded, awesome house. How are you guys doing tonight? Woo! Thank you for coming out to the show. We are Space Jam. We're going to do improv for you. We just need uh, one word that is not food, please. Balls. Raven. Balls is what I heard. Give us some love. <laughs> I've been the all-star uh, champ on this team for about the last uh, year. Uh, you know, after the starting uh, center got hurt, I heard him. Uh, I yeah, heard I stepped in. I, uh, I got cut from the JV team for the second time in a row, so I decided to join the church league basketball team. Yeah, I, I, uh, I play ball for God now, you know? <laughs> and he's my biggest fan. He's our number one cheerleader, and he's the one I'm shooting for. <laughs> uh, I, I don't donate to charity. Uh, I don't uh, tutor kids. I don't do anything like that. I play basketball for God. That's yeah. what you do. You I, do a lot of, uh, I actually do everything in my life for God. I leave it on the court. <laughs> well, I ain't never seen so many uh, bowling balls in here. I, uh... I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I came to a bowling ball store, but I, I wasn't expecting this many bowling balls. <laughs> I, uh, Six just... pounds, seven pounds, oh, eight pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I can never find ones that are the right way and fit my fingers. Do I have gargantuan thumbs <laughs> and tiny middle fingers? I don't is it my problem or is it the ball? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Whoa, this is going to be good tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at all the ladies taking their clothes off. <laughs> I'm the number one peeping Tom in this school. <laughs> so glad I drilled a hole in the wall. Uh, I'm known for coming up with creative ways of uh, seeing women and bumping into women. So one time I uh, wrecked into a girl's car and I was like, whoa, don't take your top off. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got arrested for that one. There, so. was, a, there was this one girl that uh, uh, I stole all her food, so she was really hungry. And then I came around with a picnic basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I will do anything on a dare. <laughs> Let's do it, bitches. <laughs> Let's you... do it. Cannonball? Jumping off the top of the building? Is that what you want to see? Are you not entertained? I'm gonna fit in here, damn it. I'm a military brat. I switch schools every goddamn two months. You know how many first days I've had? I don't! I have no idea! So I'm gonna do it! If that's what you want to see, you want to see me jump off into a cannonball into this bowl of macaroni and cheese. Then let's do it, bitches! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I've gone through every teacher.
teacher at this school. <laughs> <laughs> just asking them to teach, just simply do their job in front of me, but they all are so repulsed by my presence. Yep. What do you do? Oh, substitute teachers. Oh. Mm. Just, I'll tell you what, just wheel in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. Oh, that's, 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 just stay back now. Just stay back now. I'm really I'll be next seventy five dollars for the day. It's yours. It's yours. You don't have to give me money. Just wheel in the big TV. We'll put in Bill Nye and we'll watch it just like a substitute teacher does. <laughs> no, no, I haven't heard about you. Uh, you know, as principal of this school, I, I, I really. Uh... Oh, do you want me to stay? <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, I'm really confused as to why everybody seems to be absolutely terrified of you. You know, you seem like a good kid. You've got all kinds of file reports in here that they do not want you in their classroom. Nobody wants to be your friend. I'm just very assertive. I mean, uh, uh, yes, I'm sorry. You have leprosy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was out there, I was just throwing the ball, and uh, you know, I just gave it 110%. But the uh, biggest thing is that I did this uh, game for God, I won it for God, and uh, you know, I uh, I, uh, you know, I cut the ball, it was a miracle pass. They said it was a miracle pass, I thought it was a miracle pass because I did it for God. Okay, <laughs> you can go back to the bleachers now, we're all good, so let's hey, go. Man, uh, uh, we don't really need you right now. Yeah, no, we're good, we got, we, we got the team covered, you know, yeah. uh, it was fun for you to do this. Thing for a little while, helping out the church and all, but I think uh, maybe find your seat now so we can uh, continue with the game. That'd be nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, if you need me in there, you know, I got his backing. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you no, know, I'll, I'll let him know. Let the big man know. Yeah. Definitely. You know, here I am. Send me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, Isaiah. <laughs> they're on time break. Right. They're on time break right. for a couple more minutes. You know, just clear the area. We're, we're going to do our okay. thing. Okay. All right. You know, I know I'm not technically on the team, but we're all part of this congregation. We're all part of this team. You know? Yep. Just, all right. You just hang out back there in a very not creepy way. <laughs> hey. You feel like you're staring at me? Like I no, I'm just like, watching the game. I feel like I can feel you behind me, like looking at me. I am behind you looking, <laughs> but I'm looking at the game. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be honest. All right? I expect nothing less from uh, Coach of God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even go to this church, alright? Okay, that's kind of good, not good. <laughs> yeah, I, I coached, you know, downtown. They came and they asked me to coach. I was like, all right. Downtown, you're from hell? I don't know. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, my religion has nothing to do with this. I don't, you know, like, I get it. You play for God and stuff. But, like, I'm just here doing a job, so. Hey, Molly, can I talk to you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, uh, hold up your church attendance records. We keep them all uh, attached oh, to uh, giant classroom no. chalkboards. Chalk them out for each individual member, okay? <laughs> There's just a lot of blanks on your side here. Uh, <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't got uncheck boxes over here, and it uh, looks like your butt hasn't been in any pews. Ever seen you donate any tithes? No, I got Teresa and stuff. I got a lot. I'm saying you might as well be a ghost in this town, huh? <laughs> you're a ghost in this church? All right? So I respect you, Father. I think you're a very good... Uh, oh, okay, okay. All right, team, I'm the new coach uh, for the Holy Rollers. I want you all to uh, take a knee. Actually, take two knees. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but they do this, uh, you know, a lot of your schools, you got to keep a C average or above. Here, you got to go to uh, Sunday school, uh, yeah. you know, at least three out of four Sundays. Okay. Yeah. If I catch any of you uh, little heathens not going to Sunday school, three out of four Sundays, you ain't playing on this team. Okay? Father, father, do I have to keep my nun cap on when I play? <laughs> <laughs> I want to slam dunk it like MJ. It's <laughs> a very, very dated reference, sister. Uh, I mean, MJ has to play like... Oh, he's not relevant. No. Oh, he's not relevant. You know, go stand up behind your door, because I do. MJ dunks it. <laughs> <laughs> Church basketball game. Hi, Sister Mary Francis. 
Your fingers are too fat. <laughs> are you okay? Please grab the balls that don't have holes and under palm it. <laughs> are you all right? I just, my fingers are too big for this ball. No, don't you listen. Don't you listen to that inner voice. Don't you let that voice tell you what to do, okay? It's my dad. I can't tell my dad to not do. You can't do it. <laughs> you just you pick up that ball any way you want, and you put your fingers inside whatever you want, and you just throw it down there. You think I let being a girl stop me? I didn't. No. Thank you. Now you pick up your ball. Pick up your ball. All right, Dad. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to say you know you can't do this because you're a girl, but you can't donate at this sperm bank. Well, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I did? I did bowling, so I can do anything. <laughs> That's how things work in the world. Now you let me go in there with my dick. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wade through the moat you just created. So. I just wanted to show everyone that I could do it. You clearly didn't. You <laughs> I didn't say I'd make it in the bowl, I just said I could do it. And then next time I'm gonna do it backwards so it'll shoot out. <laughs> I don't know how you work that way. <laughs> Alright, scientists, uh, we've invented a time machine. We've invented a time machine to send a woman back to the 1950s to possibly change the course of history. It'll never work, it'll never work. Hmm. You know, it was a very uh, misogynistic time, and I feel like things could be a lot better, things could be a lot different nowadays, so we're sending our best recruit into the 1950s to possibly ah. change the course. What's gonna happen? A bus gonna get slapped, she's gonna come right back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't recognize her name tag. Take us. We're from the 50s. <laughs> 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 If someone says they're going to do something that could possibly harm them, say no. Don't encourage and insult them and lead them to do it. What if, what if someone's like, oh, it's 2015. 
I'm gonna really watch my carbs and start to lose weight. We just go, uh, no, don't, don't do that. Well, that's a good thing. Don't do that. Kiss those, Judge Judy. Yes, you know. <laughs> I just, I wanted to talk to you guys. I, I've been really feeling it in my gut. I just, I want to pick up everything and go. I just want to move to Los Angeles. So I'm gonna be a star. Definitely don't. Oh, okay. Don't do it, Stevie Wonder. Don't. <laughs> so ever gonna hear about it? <laughs> <laughs> Kids, uh, I'm so excited to share this with you. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research, as you know, many hours at the lab. I, I've, I have a cure for cancer. Don't shut. Up. Nobody <laughs> cares. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Just leave it alone. You have I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Oh, we cut to uh, Mark at her funeral. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let uh, my youngest daughter, Mark, <laughs> say a few words. <laughs> it could be short for something. It's not, but it could be. I <laughs> <laughs> remember the last words were just uh, when the doctor's like, hey, we found a cure. <laughs> 100% guarantee gonna work. <laughs> Do you want me to try it to cure you? And her last words, uh, weren't I love you or let's give it a shot? She said, don't. And there was a lot of choking and slam. <laughs> and then her bowels released. <laughs> and then she just flatlined. It was terrible. <laughs> and now, now we put her in a, an old tuxedo. <laughs> I took off one of my stuff. I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. This was the first funeral home that I, I could find. Uh, I, I have concocted a potion to, to bring people back from the dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. And if, you, if you'd allow me uh, to do this. You standing up there must be important. Uh, yes, yes. No, that's very Doc Brown of you. I mean, you know what you're doing. I expected a little negativity. <laughs> I would expect Wait, any sort of hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, I'm doing something. Wait, I'm doing something. Don't you do it. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, we double dog dare you to don't. <laughs> 